The High Court in Bloemfontein will today hear whether the state and the defense in the multi-million rand asbestos roofing case are ready to proceed with the trial. The pre-trial hearing of the 16 accused to include suspended ANC Secretary General Esma Khashule, former Free State Human Settlements MEC Olim Lamleli, businessman Edwin Sodi and five companies will get underway later this morning. They are of course facing more than 70 charges of fraud, corruption and money laundering. Our report is out there this morning for us. Let's cross to Samkele Maseko outside the Bloemfontein High Court and uh, he is there uh, to bring us uh, some of the latest regarding uh, the people who are uh, turning up to witness this one today. Samkele, once more good morning, over to you. Well, Sakina, this morning we have not seen ANC heavyweights making their way to this Bloemfontein High Court. We do know that the likes of the former chairperson of the ANC and former premier of the Northwest Province, Supra Muhammadpelo, he is around Bloemfontein, likes of Andy Lelungisa in the Eastern Cape from Nelson Mandela Bay. They have not yet made their way to the City of Roses in this freezing morning as we seek to tick that political register on which ANC heavyweight is here, particularly knowing that this is the first court appearance of the suspended uh, Secretary General of the ANC post the disbandment of the PEC here in the Free State Province. But I'm going to bring in Mr. Carl Niehaus, one of the supporters of uh, suspended Secretary General Ace Makashule and former President Jacob Zuma. Uh, just uh, knowing Carl Niehaus, uh, Mr. Niehaus, there is a heavy police presence, there is uh, SANDF, Will he be arrested this morning as well, just like you were arrested last time live on the SABC? Samkele, of course, as you see, I'm standing here in front of barbed wire. And of course, I have to look over my shoulder there where the police officers are and ask myself, am I not going to be arrested again live on SABC? For me, this is an indication of the sad state of affairs in our country. We are slipping fast towards a repressive dictatorship where freedom of speech and the civil rights that I and so many other people, including also Comrade Ace Magashule and President Jacob Zuma, had fought for. A very sad situation and I am really deeply concerned about the future of our country and the manner in which nonetheless an ANC government is at the moment repressing freedom of speech. But Mr. Nihaus, the SANDF was essentially deployed to guard national key points, particularly knowing that they was, in the words of the government, in the words of the president, words of the minister of higher education and training and SACP general secretary, that there was an insurrection. And there was an allegation made against yourself by Minister Figilam Balula that you are the face of this insurrection that took place in the country. That's absolute poppycock. And there was also no insurrection. There was an upsurge of desperation and anger by millions of hungry people because of the failure of our government to address the needs of the people, especially under the COVID-19 regulations. And while we're talking about the deployment of the SANDF and large numbers of police, yet they failed to prevent the Phoenix massacre, a massacre that was preempted by racist and ethnic mobilization, but by no one less than President Cyril Ramaphosa himself. Today, we as supporters of Comrade Ace Magashule are here. We will not be here in large numbers because we have not mobilized for large numbers because we will try to comply with the COVID-19 protocols. The supporters that will be here will be broken up in smaller groups in order to comply with those protocols. But the important thing is that no one must try and push the narrative. But because of the less than the usual large numbers of supporters that will be here today, that the support for Comrade Ace Magashule and also the support for President Jacob Zuma has waned at all. It has not. There's a deep and fundamental outrage in our nation against the injustices that have been committed against these comrades and the manner in which our judicial system is being abused for factional, 
party political purposes. Let's leave it there, Mr. Niehaus, before you are grabbed by the police once again. That was Carl Niehaus there, who is uh, the spokesperson of the disbanded MKMVA, making uh, some serious allegations there against the president, speaking also against the Phoenix massacre, and that uh, the political register of those high-profile ANC members uh, who are leading the party who may not be making their way to the high court for this pre-trial is not a determination of uh, the SG of the ANC who suspended Mr. Mahashule losing grip and losing support as also for former President Jacob Zuma whose case is currently postponed due to the issue of his heel health. Well, thanks so much, uh, Sam Kele Maseko. And as you can see, um, many of the high-profile people that Sam Kele mentions who are in and around uh, that area in uh, Bloemfontein this morning will be making their way to the High Court precinct.